SpongeBob, where have you been? I've been covering for you on the grill for the past three hours. My arm feels like it's gonna snap in half. It's that guy in red. He's a really high maintenance customer. Can we please steal the secret formula now? Pretty please, Man Ray? I must have more! Bring me more Krabby Patties! Bring more Krabby Patties! Stand aside, Squidward. I'm gonna be my own hero. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your meal. At last! All right, fine. I'll just steal the secret formula myself. Oh, and Man Ray, this friendship is over! No, no, no more. Can't eat another. There he is. All right, Man Ray. Lunch time's over! What? How did you two know I was here? A little sponge told us. This wasn't supposed to happen. Here you go, Plankton. <laughs> What's this? It's the bill for your partner. Ah! <laughs> oh, I have got to get my hands on a Krabby Patty, and no one's gonna stop me! <laughs> There it is. Holy shrimp! I don't know where to start. But all that matters is that it's just you and me and nobody. Squidward? Is that you? SpongeBob, uh, 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 what are you doing here? I always come to work at 3 a.m. This is when I count the sesame seeds. What are you doing here? God, uh, I forgot my... Uh, why is the patty vault open? Oh, I thought that... Uh, and why are you holding a patty behind your back? I... 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 I, I no, I, I didn't do... Just and because... why are you acting so nervous? And why are you sweating so much? And why do you look so hungry? And... No, no, wait. It's not what you think. This is a big misunderstanding. You've got to believe me. I... Listen, I am telling you, you better listen to me, SpongeBob! You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? Yes! Yes! I admit it, SpongeBob! I love Krabby Patties! I knew it all along, Squidward! No one can resist a Krabby Patty! <laughs> Squidward, how many are you eating? Squidward! <laughs> Squidward, you can't eat all those patties at one time! Squidward! What's gonna happen? Am I gonna blow up? No, worse! It'll go right to your thighs! My thighs? And then you'll blow up! Yeah, I remember my first Krabby Patty. There's a bell, and we're off and eating! Oh, Nick Nolte taking an early lead and really going to work on those patties. What a dynamo! A little smoke from Three Towns overeating at a terrific pace! But what's this? Patrick Starr isn't moving! He seems stuck at the gate! What are you doing, Patrick? Don't make me charge you for those patties, too! McNulty's pressing forward. Looks like this is gonna be a blowout! Pladwick? I believe in you, Pladwick. Oh, oh, but wait! Patrick Star is on the move, and patties are starting to disappear! Look at that little sea star eat! He's inching closer to McNulty, and it looks like McNulty can feel the heat! Never has there been a more prodigious display of competitive eating! The amount of patties being consumed is astounding! And now, yes, yes! Patrick Starr has matched Oswald McNulty, and they are tied as they come into the home stretch! Both eaters are now so full they can barely eat, but eat they do. Moving so slowly now, one can't help but wonder if they are going to hit the patty wall at some point. And, and, both eaters have stopped! With only seconds left, we are tied in patties eaten, and neither one seems to have the room to go on! Oh! What's this? And down goes McNulty! Down goes! 
It's all for SpongeBob. I can't go on. The taste, Patrick. Remember the taste. The taste. What's this? Patrick Starr has risen from his seat and is pointing to center field. No, wait! He's pointing to a little boy with a hurt foot. Ladies and gentlemen, he's pointing to his mouth as if to indicate something. Here you go, champ. You can have mine. And he's eating! He's eating! The Great Starfino is eating! Patrick Star wins! The belt is back in Bikini Bottom! There you go, Miss Tufsy. Grandma knows you like your Mr. Heaty set to extra cozy when you're home relaxing. Goodness! You're almost out of cookies. Here, I'll go and get some more. Now, don't you go running off again. There we go. After this, I'll make up some of those deviled eggs I promised. Ooh, how about a little music? Grandma's got a killer stereo system. Her days as a riveter. You make Grandma feel so young. Ooh. Come on, Miss Tufsy. Let's do the boogie woogie. Oh, okay. Oh, that's enough of the boogie woogie for now. Gary? knows how much you love these late-night crime drama programs, don't you, Miss Tufsy? Oh, heavens, look at the time. It's time for bed, Miss Tufsy. There you go, Miss Tufsy. Fresh squeezed. It takes a little longer to make it that way, but it was a labor of love. Wow. How about a little more syrup on those pancakes? Here comes the train. <laughs> you stay right there. The meatloaf is almost done. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the meatloaf's not quite ready yet, but Grandma knows how hungry you are, Miss Tufsy. So she whipped up a quick batch of cookies. Run! You don't want cookies? Don't fret. I made a batch of deviled eggs, too. Come back, Miss Tufsy. You don't want these to go to waste, do you? They were labor of love. Oh, don't worry, Miss Tufsy. Yeah. That smells like... <gasps> the health inspector! Wash your hands! Clean the floors! Change your underwear! The health inspector's here! If he finds one health violation, he'll close us down for good. We've got to do everything in our power to make sure he passes the Krusty Krab. But, Mr. Krabs, there's no reason to worry. The Krusty Krab is the most perfect place in the universe. You really haven't got any brains at all, have you, son? Just go out there and give him what he needs. Pour on the charm. Sweet talking. What can I get for you, handsome? We're doomed! I'm going to need you to bring me one of everything on the menu. Excellent choice, my darling. Coming right up! He wants one of everything! Then we'll give him a smorgasbord! 
The future of the Krusty Krab is at stake. Cry the crunchy cat dog, sir. The butter barnacles are a touch of heaven. The powdered driftwood is exquisite. Fresh sludge pudding. More diet red tie. Some fried fleece. Some... Gentlemen! Leave me to finish my work in peace. And did the voluptuous inspector enjoy his meal? So far, so good. I just need to try a plain Krabby Patty and my inspection will be finished. He says if he gets one more Krabby Patty, he'll pass us for the inspection. Do you know what this means, dear boy? We're in the clear! We interrupt this can-can for a special news bulletin. Be on the lookout for a man who's been passing himself off as a health inspector in order to obtain free food. That's all for now. We ought to tell our guy about the phony imposter. You loony loofah, he is the imposter. We've been duped. Duped. Bamboozled. We've been smackledorfed. That's not even a word, and I agree with you. Look at him. I bet he never changes his underpants. I bet he bites whale bubbles. I bet his mom bought him that hat. If that imposter wants a Krabby Patty, then by Neptune, we'll give him one. You're dancing with the crab man now. Join me, boy, or you're fired. It doesn't seem right. But it feels so good. Seahorse radish, the gnarliest stuff in the ocean. Oh, hold on. I've got a jar of toenail clippings in my office. Oops, I dropped it in the toilet. Well, fish it up, and I'll dry it with me gym socks. <laughs> Why, that's the most diabolical Krabby Patty ever spent. Bond. I call it the Nasty Patty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hurry up with that patty. Here you are, sir. Enjoy. Ah, hello, delicious. Come to Papa. <laughs> Listen, he ate it. Oh, look at him choke. Ah! <laughs> look at him suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that, boy? Oh, man! That look on his face! <laughs> oh. Good townspeople, let us rejoice in welcoming our new king! He needs food badly. What's this all about? <laughs> Well, well, what can I do for you, Patrick? The king would like... Zip it, square pants. I'm talking to the rich guy. I'll have ten Krabby Patties, a Krabby milkshake, large fries. I've got a better idea. <laughs> a buffet fit for a king. Tasty. Listen, Patrick, there comes a time in every man's life when he's got to settle down. You know, get a wife, kids... A father-in-law you give all your money to? Oh, uh, that sounds great. Hey, can I get a little more ketchup? That's about you pay the check instead. Oh, sorry, Mr. Krabs. No can do. As king of Bikini Bottom, I am allowed to have anything I want. Isn't that right, SpongeBob? That is correct. Anything you want, and it's all free. All free? Nobody eats any restaurant for free. King or no king? <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? I was planning to. Why? I want it. Hey! What gives you the right to take my food? <laughs> Tell him, SpongeBob. Uh, Pat, I'm not sure this is what being king is all about. I thought you said I could have anything I want. Was my bestest friend lying to me? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Patrick. I never lie to you. Good! Now tell him! Hi. By proclamation of the Royal Ministry, the king is entitled to get whatever he wants. <laughs> this isn't fair. Life isn't fair, pal. Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, newbie. Now you can take your first break. I break? I can eat ice cream now? All you can handle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your help, buddy. Now, let's dig in! Oh, 
I'd love to. But if I don't hurry, I'll be late for my job. Sure you can handle that ice cream all by yourself? <laughs> Silly question. <laughs> Good luck, my employee pal. Oh, only two more minutes for my break. And two more minutes for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> A bread box overflowing with baguettes. Yummy stuff everywhere. I'll start with the fridge. Candied sea yams, pickle urchins, anemone pies, a bucket of cold slaw, etc. Ooh, more etc. Oh well, I needed to lose a little weight anyway. And that's what I told them. I said, if you're not going to bring an extra set of batteries, then why even carry a... Hey, mister! What's with this sack? Sack? Yeah, sack. That big giant sack thing you're carrying on your back, that sack. It's, uh, I'm practicing to be Sandy Claus for the holidays. <laughs> Okay, you have a safe night now. Thanks again, officer! Be seeing you in a couple months. <laughs> Happy holidays. Okay, Pearly. I got some more vittles here for you. More! I was afraid you were going to say that. How's it going over there at Club Shell for Brains? Mm, mm mm I am hungry. I wonder what's on the menu for Club Squidward tonight. Ah. Wanna smell good, SpongeBob? You haven't eaten in days. What about you, Patrick? A big boy's gotta eat. Well, you can't have any. And do you know why, SpongeBob? Because your club president is a shell. If you had listened to me, you'd have food, shelter, and a roaring fire. But instead, you listen to a talking clam. That tells you nothing. As if the answers to all your problems will fall right out of the sky. <laughs> fall right out of the sky. Food you got there? It's a gift from the magic conch. Everything sure looks delicious. <gasps> oh, smoked sausage is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> SpongeBob, I, you know I was just kidding around earlier, and, and I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm still part of the club, right? Uh, and, and, and uh, after all, the, the club got to stick together, and I, I mean, you know, I... I Squidward? Uh, 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 yes? Once a member, always a member. To, to the, the club! club. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me... Oh, what shall I eat first? The spaghetti, the turkey, the soup, the canned meat? Why don't you ask the magic conch, Squidward? Oh, yeah, like that'll happen. Right after I consult the magic toenail. <laughs> Squidward, are you questioning the authority of the magic conch? The conch is the one who gave us this banquet. This copyrighted conch is the cornerstone of our organization. Maybe he's not a brother. <laughs> you guys have it all wrong. I love this piece of plastic. Uh, hello there. Magic conch, I was wondering, uh, should I have the spaghetti or the turkey? Neither. Oh, then how about the soup? I don't think so. Could I have anything to eat? No. No? What do you mean, no? I'm starving here. Here, let me try. Magic conch, could Squidward have some of this yummy, delicious, super terrific sandwich? No. Hmm. Could I have this yummy, delicious, super terrific sandwich? Yes. All right! <laughs> Sorry, Squidward. Get me that! Could I have something to eat? No. Could I have something to eat? No. Could I have something to eat? No. Can't you say anything else but no? Try asking again. Can I have something to eat? No. Squidward, are you all right? Maybe we should ask the show if he's okay. Come on, Pencil. Make words. <laughs> Gary! Hey, 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 Gary! How's my favorite mollusk? How about you let old SpongeBob fix you up something to eat? <laughs> what do you mean you're not hungry? I know I have an essay to write. Now, come on, Gary. I got to make sure you get your nutrition, so I'm not leaving until you eat every single bite. <laughs> Gary, are you sure you don't want some creme brulee? Or, or some chocolate-flavored algae bits? Gee, Gary sure made a mess. I'm talking about Oswald McNulty. He comes here every year with his big city ways and his extremely relaxed throat muscles, and he shows us up like a bunch of rubes. Rubes! And on Founder's Day, no less. You will definitely not be treated like a baby around here ever again. I am glad you see it my way, Grandmother. Well, I'm glad that's settled. But what am I going to do with all these fresh-baked cookies? <laughs> Sorry, Grandmother. We adults don't partake in the consumption of sweets. Right, Pat? Trick? Keep them coming, Granny! <laughs> so much for no more baby stuff. And don't forget the cookie-eating hat. <laughs> hey! That's my cookie-eating hat! Uh, I mean, it was when I was a baby. Well, look who's here. It's my big old adult grandson. Grandmother, I need to have a mature conversation with Mr. Patrick. Patrick, what are you doing? Cookies, warm milk, a bib. Is that a kissy mark on your forehead? We are supposed to be adults. Uh oh, uh -oh. no roughhousing with a full tummy. <laughs> I'm the baby! I'm the baby! I'm the baby! <clears throat> Big grown-up is boring. I love being a baby. Besides, I don't get jazz. Oh, poor Patrick. I almost feel sorry for you. Trapped in the awkward phase of diaper days, never to know the rich rewards of being a grown-up. Here's a fresh batch of 
cookies. All right. Rewards, huh? Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, let's see, we, uh, we went over the jazz. Still, Grandma, I'm full. More cookies. It appears to be my lunch hour. Ooh, grown ups have to eat too. I guess this will oh, have to do. You don't want this baby food. How about a big piece of steamed coral? Oh, yeah. Uh, great. <laughs> Nutritious. Story time. Oh, boy. Story time, story time, story time. <laughs> Run, Bob, what are you doing? How are the customers supposed to get in now? Those aren't customers out there, Plankton. They're all crabby Valley zombie monsters, and they're forcing everybody to eat them. You and I are the last two survivors. Krabby Patty zombies? <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, I believe it! Karen! Consume me. No! No, wait! I don't want... Have a slider. Stay back! I got sparks! Boy, do I feel better! Oh, that's it! Chum is the killer! Oh, a patty! Happened. Yes, yes. No. Maybe I should up the dosage. Myself, I'd never eat here. Oh boy, so much for lab grown patties. You see, Mr. Krabs, some things don't need scientific re engineering to be delicious. The original Krabby Patty is perfect just the way it is. Yeah, you know, after all that, a good old vintage Krabby Patty sounds pretty good right now. Yeah. Vintage Krabby Patties rule! You're darn tootin' they do! And for the next three minutes, all Vintage Krabby Patties and the Krusty Krab are... Double the price! Yeah! Wait! Don't leave now! Time to initiate the first variable. One big bowl, one small bowl. Exactly eight ounces per bowl. Free your eyes to cream! Free your eyes to cream! One a day only! Get your free eyes! Oh boy, let's go! You're the boss. Free ice cream! Oh my sea stars, free ice cream! Hey, you boys, how'd you like a nice, a free a bowl of tootsie fruitsy ice cream? <laughs> oh, you do. <laughs> One free ice cream, please. All sold out, maybe we'll get some later. <laughs> lousy first come, first serve. <laughs> Um, your, your bowl is bigger. You want to trade? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You 
Look up more ice cream. Patrick, I think your ice cream only looks smaller because the bowl is big. Well, I want to trade back. <laughs> There's only one fair thing to do. What's that? Patrick, you call that fair? Uh, I'm in charge. Uh, oh, yeah. Time for variable two. More of free ice cream here. Now in a same size the cones. <laughs> I just got my slippers on. Here you go. I'll take those, my good man. Well, but Patrick, I... I'm in charge. <laughs> uh, one cone, please. All the cone. Can I have my cone now? 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 Mm. Hmm. Rub my feet first. Oh, come on. Who's in charge? All right, I'll rub your feet. <laughs> Hey, my ice cream is melting all over your hand. Ooh, I'll fix that. Patrick, you are making very poor choices. Don't you backsass me. I'm in charge, and you have to do what I say. Now, count that bucket of white sand. All right, I will. <laughs> 1,893,601. 1,893,602. Looks like you'll have to start over. Enjoying that ice cream, Patrick? Yes, I am. Would you like sprinkles on it? Hey! <laughs> Not so fast. I would now like to sample combinations of flavors. And I would like you to use my spoon. Security, we have a sample mooch at the counter. Ooh. 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 